Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews today, and this is just going to be uh, the unboxing for now. We're going to open this up. I just got my new tool that I plan to use in the backyard, and I've been doing research on. Um, I contacted the wall, and I tried to see if they can help me out with getting a good deal um, on their reciprocating saws, because theirs don't have orbital... orbital um, couple features it doesn't have and um, compared to other ones and um, they're a lot more money so I contacted the wall they told them, you know a lot of people are have deals you know buy you buy batteries you know you get whatever um, and I was looking if they can get me in the same price range as either the Hitachi or the flex um, that's for sale at Lowe's uh, but yeah they played games and didn't get back to me so here I am opening up this instead of the DeWalt because DeWalt wanted to play games. And they took two weeks to get back to me. And I asked them if they can help me out getting it on sale for $249.99 around there. This used to be um, Hitachi. So this is the one that I got, um, 36 volt. It should be really cool. One and a quarter uh, stroke. Um, tells you how many charges, four speed mode, um, accepts the AC adapter. It's sold separately. I do want to try this out at some point, but I saw it on Amazon and, uh, it was like, it was, it used to be 120. Now I think it's like 150. I don't know why it went up. Um, but like I said, look, this has orbital and, uh, it has the UV, uh, UVP, uh, you know, vibration technology that whatever they use, everyone has their own. Uh, brushless, uh, multi-volt, I mean, you know, I've seen reviews, they look pretty cool, so it got sent to me, let's look at the back of the box, so you guys can see, you can give that a pause, and kind of read the back of it, and see what's up, here's the side of the specs that they give you, you guys can give that a pause as well, I hope you guys can see that, see a lifetime warranty as well on the tool, um, DeWalt doesn't do that. That's what I mean. There was a couple of things that they didn't do and I was just seeing if they can help me out, but so much for that. <clears throat> I'll try to email them one more time and I'll be like, that's not what I asked for. And I'll see if they get back to me because I wanted to really test it out against this one too. So there's no battery in here. Um, I do not know where the battery is. We need to check the shipping because there's no battery in here. It was supposed to come with a battery and charger. Wow. It is pretty big. Um, it's pretty massive. Uh, pretty heavy too. Wow. Uh, this is my first time, um, you know, getting some heavy duty uh, like this. I do have uh, Ryobi that we will be testing this against. It's crap. It overheats. It's just to show you this is not going to be a comparison. This is really just going to be if you have the Ryobi or if you have the Milwaukee, I'm going to do that later. Uh, then it, you're going to see how much of an upgrade you can have by getting something like this. Um, because battery is the new thing and batteries technology is just you know way advanced now so here's your uh settings right here as it says straight cut orbital you can just flip it like that very simple it snaps in this opens up it's cool it's green it opens up this is the shoe adjustment so you can pull out the shoe oh you can't pull out the shoe all the way um because you know on some of uh i think on milwaukee uh, you can pull the shoe out all the way. So this one um, does lock. So it's pretty cool. It adjusts at a couple different uh, levels. You might have to get it on the right setting, I guess. This is adjustable. So this is at least adjustable, which is good. Adju uh, not adjustable. Pivoting shoe, it's called. Um, but, uh, okay, so you kind of have to play with it. You have to get it exactly where you have to get it. So, and then you can adjust the shoe. There we go. So... See, there we go. So you have to just get it at the right point, which is kind of a pain a little bit if you're on the rush. Um, so it does have the rubber on the back here for the vibration of the battery. Here's the terminals right here, slides right in. I do not have the um, battery or anything like that because um, they did not come. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be in this box. I guess they're shipping it separate. Uh, so here's the rafter hook, which is cool. Um, I'm not really going to use that that much. I'm not really in that kind of trade, but it is nice if I'm on a ladder, maybe, I guess. Uh, like This does feel pretty heavy. I'm not sure. I think it's around like eight to nine pounds this thing is, so it is very heavy. Here's uh, the tag and the model. You guys can give that a pause and see what's up. Um, 
Here's some things that they have on here. Oh, it just tells you unlock and lock. There's the LED on the top that I cannot light up for you because they didn't send the battery. Um, oh, here's the fan down here that helps cool it, I guess, when you turn it on. So that's kind of cool. And there's the battery display. So the battery display has, what, four bars. So that's cool. They have a button just to turn the light on by itself, which is cool. Oh, this is the speed, I think. The speed change, right? And then this is the lock and unlock feature unlock and lock i'm a fan of when a sawzall uh the milwaukee sawzall it has a lock in the on position this doesn't have a lock in the on position so you always have to have your finger on the trigger if you're doing a lot of cutting outside i guess that's why milwaukee is i guess top for so you know reciprocating saws they're one of the top brands is because they know what's up uh if you're cutting a lot a lot of wood for a long period of time you get tired pressing this thing down you know you do so uh this is a two finger trigger which is kind of cool but um you do that you know you you get fatigued you get tired down if you have like a really big job and you got to cut a lot of railroad ties or like with some really big crap then you know i would probably want to have the milwaukee over this because i just know the milwaukee is you know uh more of a commercial grade kind of um you know reciprocating saw but the price is there as you guys can see it's M uh, more than double the price for the same kind of kit is for the um you know the milwaukee uh you know the one that has orbital and everything not the cheap milwaukee so that's it for this uh the unboxing review of the saw so we'll be back in a little bit when i find out from lowe's where the heck is my battery